Okay, folks, we got the one and only Dr. Sandra Rose Michael. She's in the house with us. And before we go any further, folks, just hit the pause button. Follow us on Rumble. The link is down below. Don't forget, we got great merchandise. And don't go to QFS1776.com because we are burning down the entire system that was the previous system, and we're never going back to it. So if you want to learn how to charter these waters that are coming, the quantum financial system, QFS1776 is the holy grail of exactly what's coming. You're not going to have a choice. You have to jump into it. Don't forget to share us on your social media. Dr. Sandra Michael is a creator of the Bioscalar EE Systems technology. I would love to go into your resume, but I know that we would be here for about 25 minutes reading like a book. <laughs> Why don't you tell the people what they need to know about you? I know that you were supposedly conceived at Niagara Falls. I know that your parents were nuclear physicists and you got like 165 IQ. So you're dealing with somebody that's extremely intelligent. So please try to keep an open mind because I have some pretty amazing questions for Dr. Welcome to our show. Hey, aloha. I'm happy to be here. I'm looking forward to finding out what you're going to ask me. This should be interesting. Oh, the yeah. pizza guy from New York. Yeah. What are you going to ask? Okay. Bring it. Let's bring it. Um, yeah. <laughs> that should be fun. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Well, I you know I am an animal lover and my my uh, now friend, Nino Rodriguez, who you know who he is, I'm sure. Of course. Uh, yeah. yeah. His dog is not doing well. And I figured I opened up the show with that, but I did send him your videos and I said, would you please do me a favor and just watch these? Because in your second part with uh, Shurka, Jason Shurka, he talks specifically about animals in the first five, six minutes. Can you go a little bit into that and how this technology could help Nino Rodriguez's dog? <laughs> okay. Well, we just love miracles. And I'll tell you what, animals are a whole lot easier than humans. And we've seen like crazy miracles, but understand it's just, it's applied integrative biophysics, by the way. Applied means how well is, you know, we talk about how well does it work. This isn't theoretical intellectual physics. This is, you know, this is physics, when you call it biophysics, it's how it relates to the body and to cells and to life, literally life. So with this, it's like, how do we raise that light force, life force energy at a cellular level? And basically the power that made the body heals the body. It's like plugging the body back into the cosmic light socket, universal unlimited power on. And I know uh, Jason Shurka talked about his dog with the uh, small dog, very small girl. And I did meet this dog with no tumor. It was totally gone. And it, been, it, was, it was a large tumor for that small size dog. And it was gone after uh, a few sessions in the technology there in, between New York and New Jersey. So, um, yeah, that's one. But uh, I'll give another example of a cat. I mean, we've had a lot, a lot with animals, but I'll give an example. I had a federal judge did not want to put down her cat. Um, she'd had the cat since he was a kitten, brought the cat, was 17 years old, brought it like this with skin and bones. Cat couldn't walk, uh, wasn't eating, wasn't drinking, was on dialysis, was on IVs. Um, you know, but she didn't want to put him on. That somebody told her to bring the cat, brought the cat, put it in the middle of the system. Um, after two hours, the cat got up and went and got it and got a drink of water himself. Second time, he jumped right up onto the bed, right in the middle of the system. But you know what the good thing is? I didn't have to explain anything to the cat. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the cat lived another five years or so, but, you know. <laughs> I love that. That's a great story. That's awesome. Now, uh, I understand that you were summoned by some world, some world, off-world powers. Uh, you hinted at least at that when you spoke with Jason in one of your interviews, I know for sure, is I watched them both twice. Riveting. I mean, he did a fantastic job. I hope to be as good as Jason one day. I'm still rough around the edges. I'm the pizza guy from New York that, that is trying to wing it. Okay. Uh, but basically, uh, you know, you have had off world experiences or off world contacts. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? I think the people are dying. I had a, a gentleman from uh, Oregon, uh, Darren and his wife, Gina, sent me that question specifically. So Darren, this one's for you, buddy. 
<laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, because normally, well, obviously at MIT or at different ministries of health, this is not what would be on topic or be anything I'd be discussing. <laughs> obviously. I, mean, I, I can go right down all the physics, and the nuclear physics, the quantum physics, but the biophysics, uh, the applied integrated biophysics, but, it, but it's electrical, mechanical, structural engineering and physics is how I see everything. Uh, however, yes, I've been something of a contactee and with the memories my whole life. So, uh, you know, I can talk about that. And I, I, and I also worked very, very closely with another contactee, uh, Dr. Fred Bell. I don't know if you remember okay. him. Absolute yeah. wild man. I actually have one of his books right here. Uh, the Inside Trap. Let's see. No, Rays of Truth. Rays of Truth, Crystals of Light, Dr. Fred Bell. Uh, he was a nuclear physicist with NASA uh, by age 16. He's in, his uncle was uh, Alexander Graham Bell. He was in the lab since he was eight. I have a whole parallel story, crazy hyper geniuses, but he was a Pleiadian contactee as well. And so I, did, I worked with Fred for like 15 years because we had very, very similar uh, experiences and upbringing. Uh, and as far as, you know, I was doing the same thing. I was doing all the top secret government science experiments, you know, from the time I was a, a kid, probably about the same age, you know, doing all the Tesla coils. And, you know, as I talk about my favorite toys being Geiger counters and gyroscopes. And I really thought everybody's favorite toys must be those. I had collections of them, loved them healing all the animals on the farm and all that kind of stuff. But I came in with my memories of Atlantis and was talking about that from the time I could talk, because that's the most parallel time to this time on the planet, really, because they were doing all the same dumb stuff there, the abuse of scalar weaponry. Um, you know, they were doing the hijacking of the DNA and chimeras and all that kind of stuff. Well, we need to create the quantum leap of consciousness now we need to create a cataclysm of consciousness rather than a planetary cataclysm of other things let's let's get it right this time and create a cataclysm of consciousness using technology because we have to use technology to create the counterpoint to all the technology that's being used against us and all the bioweapons and all that kind of thing but when i was uh requested that I do this, take on this project in, in, in it's designed to bring the DNA back to its original divine blueprint, its original blueprint. And so part of what I was asked to do was to recreate what we have on the ships, uh, you know, and what we call the recalibration chambers and recreate that here to be able to keep the DNA in its original divine design. That's our God code. So, and bring, because we used it on the ships like going from hyperspace or going between different planets or battles or whatever it was, the, the, this, because we are in a, in a spiritual battle right now between, the, you know, between good and evil. It's a spiritual battle for the souls of mankind going on on this planet, played out in the healthcare arena at this time, which is part of the prophecies brought back by uh, Daniel Brinkley, who's another good friend of mine. Maybe you know who that is, wrote Saved by the Light, Into the Light, Hit by Lightning three times. He's a DEA agent. He's a, he's a mercenary, was sent back with prophecies, how the battle for the souls of mankind would be fought in the healthcare arena. Highly recommend people get his book or listen to Daniel. Daniel Brinkley is fabulous, another great friend of mine. I'm very, very blessed in that I've dealt with all these great souls, great, amazing souls. So like with Fred Bell, that same thing, we're you know doing all this work with, with Scalar. And how do we use that to create the counterbalance, to, to really, uh, you know, create that override of the detrimental things because we're living in a toxic soup being bombarded 24 seven with the EMF, the ELF radiation microwave. And I know radiation literally from the inside out because my mother was that nuclear physicist fissioning plutonium in the labs all the time she was pre pregnant with me working on the bomb. And so instead she got me, my dad doing stealth bombers and Mach 3 and all this stuff. 
And so I came in going, now how do we heal the world? How do we bring healing to all of this? You know, so that's, you know, in spite of all these mad Atlantean psychics <laughs> run amok. Yeah. <laughs> how do we heal it all? Exactly. So I was told to bring that technology here. And in the process of, of developing it, I mean, it's, you know, I've been teaching holistic health more than 45 years. I built my first scalar healing light chamber after all kinds of experiments and research and using material from NASA. And I was running a power management equipment company. But in 1978, I built my first scalar healing light chamber in my spa. And you could really see this as an energy spa or a light spa, a healing energy light spa um, that you're bathing in light because the DNA is biophotonic, which means that's your quantums of light, the DNA, prime function of DNA is storage of photons. That's our, that's our divine light, really. So, you know, so I had built that in 1978 in my spa. So I've got a lot of, a lot of long time research into, into all the healing modalities, studied rife and radionics and biophotonics in the early 70s. So that this project, bringing it forward, it was designed to activate the 12 strands of the DNA. And this was a great experiment on this planet in that there was the seeding of the DNA, uh, you know, for this planet to create the planet to be habitable for this evolutionary process of being in this free will zone. It's a very, very creative planet. And it's this, um, this amazing place where it's very creative, so to speak, and, and a divine experiment of of the, because the only real learning, the only real lesson is love, unconditional love. That's really it. God is love. And it's about re remembering who we are, all that we are, how highly we're connected, you know, that we are these divine bodies and beings of light, the sons and daughters of God. So I also had to listen to all these different races that helped seed the DNA. They each had to have their input into the technology of how, because it's designed to bring all of our DNA back into that unified presence, divine, uh, the divine presence, uh, activating the light at the core of our DNA, light within us, into that full realization of our own Christed beingness, that we are the free, sovereign sons and daughters of God, <laughs> and we have access to unlimited power, infinite intelligence, unconditional love, should we choose to accept it, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Time yeah. to remember who we are. Because if we have access to unlimited power, infinite intelligence, unconditional love, what's the problem? It can all be easy. We just have to, you know, it's what I talk, you know, being a kahuna, recognized as a kahuna, I share access codes. Well, it's time to stop just sitting on your access <laughs> and access your power and allow the power to rise up from that seat of power within you, you know, to rise up the spine, which is meant to be that standing column or wave. And we're meant to be like pillars in the temple, pillars in the temple of God. And when we stand strong in our light, in our love, when we stand together, we, that's when God wins. When we come together as pillars in the temple of God, that's when God wins. And, and this is the great timing that we're in. The second coming is really from within us, that total remembrance and total access to all that's ours. So to walk the planet as the fully realized God, goddess beings in perfect balance and create a new heaven and a new earth through us here now. So Anyway, that's the spiritual side of my technology, but I, although I that's can talk amazing. all the cellular mechanisms of action till the cows come home. <laughs> well, I knew that eventually I would be interviewing people of your caliber. That's why I had to go get a seat of power. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's a wing chair for you to wing it in. Exactly. There you, go. you got it. Uh, now, you remember vividly, supposedly, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm hearing you correctly, your previous lives, and you mentioned... Atlantis, which is one of the subjects that is, you know, uber interesting to me for years. Talk to us a little bit about that, please. Oh, gosh, what do you want to know about it? <laughs> I want to know how much you remember, what you remember, 
uh, were you uh, a scientist in that life? Uh, what were you dare to do? Uh, where was Atlantis located? Give us any information oh, you can give us. <laughs> yeah, because I was talking about it from the time I could talk with the memories, because it is the most parallel time to what we're dealing with on the planet. And, and it, you know, the, which is referred to in the, the cataclysm is also referred to as the flood, you know, in the Bible. So it's, you know, it, but they had run amok. And, um, you know, um, so there's a correction. There was a realignment that needed to occur. occur and, but rather than a cataclysm on the planet again, let's get it right. Let's get it right this time. And right use of energy. That's what righteousness is. It means right use. And use the technologies to override the detrimental destructive frequencies and energies with a higher power, the power of, of love. Um, but back in Atlantis, for me, I, I was the, the last life there because Atlantis covered a long period of time and, pre, and before that was Lemuria. So there's Lemurian memories, there's Atlantean memories, but, but Atlantis, uh, my last time there was on an, um, was overlooking uh, the sea with a healing temple as high priestess in a healing temple there. And I was doing everything to try to stop the destruction um, and you know stop the scientists from doing what they were doing and we were uh, doing everything to try to stop that uh, but that it is overlooking the ocean what's now a, a spot on the planet that's now called crete <laughs> so so you might relate to that a little bit as far as where was atlantis yeah um, atlantis from what i understand doctor correct me if i'm wrong but they were much more advanced than planet Earth is right now. Am I correct? That's correct. Yeah, okay. but doing a lot of the same dumb stuff. And, okay. and there was more uh, direct extraterrestrial connections and things too, as far as using more of those technologies. Not that they're not using it right now, because they're in the secret space program and different programs like that, versus what they've kept the, Amer the populace at is, you know, it's been a dumbing down of Americans, a dumbing down of people of the world. But, you know, the Great Awakening cannot, will not be stopped. And so we've waited a long time for this time on the planet. Uh, it's the time of the prophecies, the fulfillment of the prophecies, uh, the turning of the ages, the creation of a new heaven and new earth through us, the second coming. Uh, it's time for people to wake up. And it is a battle between the light and the dark that's gone on forever. But the, this planet is very, very special. And, and this planet's going into light, you know. And the question is how many of her people are going with her? So we, we're in a, um, you know, a really a crucible of change on mm -hmm. the planet. Or what I call deep shift. You know, we're, we're in very, very deep shift on this planet. And the shift has hit the fan. An yeah. accelerated evolution. <laughs> Some of us are in deep shift and, and the normies are in deep shit. Yeah, and it's shift okay. to get off the planet. Yeah. It literally a shift to get off the planet because it's going fifth dimensional. We're in the photon belts and, you know, there's different things going on. And the radiation levels on the planet are what you call it an extinction level event. You know, I've worked with a lot of um, different scientists from NASA and stuff, and it's it's at extinction level event, just the radiation levels alone. So, um, you know, we're at this turning point, and we've got to come together as people. It, it's time we have to, you know, I talk about unified fields and, and all that. We've got to come together and be the unified presence that can heal the world. You know, no more divide and conquer, because that's the only way that the counterintelligences or the dark life or the brilliant idiots, as I like to call them, um, <laughs> that's the only thing they had going is they were a lot better organized. Mm -hmm. But they really do not have the capacities either for going into the higher dimensions that this planet, the 5D realities, which Scalar is a part of that in that it's non-linear, non-Hertzian, fifth dimensional standing columnar waves beyond relative time and space. So past, present, future is all simultaneous. 
you know, so Tesla talked about being able to see past, present, future simultaneously between two Tesla coils. Well, people can do that same kind of thing with our technology if they want to, or when they're ready to, or when their higher self wants to reveal that to them. It makes it very easy for that kind of thing. I'll give an example though. Uh, it's the, our technology is designed to bring any and every capabilities to the highest level of potential. It's like a reorganization, a principle of scalar in itself is reorganization to higher levels of function. So there's this reorganization, it's cumulative. And we got, want to go from the effects of radiation to total radiant, brilliant health, vitality, light force, life force energy in full manifestation here. And so reorganizing to higher levels of function. And people have been doing their own homework for this time. You know, if you want to know your higher purpose, look at everything you've ever done. And what if you could call forth all the wisdom of all your experiences? <laughs> well, call forth all the wisdom of your DNA. You, you know, because the DNA holds the memories of this life, past lives, and genetically, all the memories. Let's call forth all the wisdom of all that rather than playing out any of the bad D movies of the past. We want all that wisdom called forth to reorganize into a higher level of expression and function and purpose and potential. You know, that's bringing our energies to our highest potential. That's what the exponential is about. You know, so. Uh, we want to call forth all that wisdom. Now, what do we want to create on this planet? So we've got access to all the wisdom of the ages. We've got access to all the ancestral knowledge from the past, however, however may pass. Whether you believe in past lives or not doesn't matter. There have been a lot of past lives on this planet. <laughs> and it's all in our DNA. It's all encoded. So we want to call forth all the wisdom of that and create that new heaven, new earth. And what we have to come to, together and be the greater community. It's like sacred communion and that communion of souls because we're going through a battle literally for the souls of mankind. We want to activate that light within. Totally and agree. Now, did the, did the Pleiadians have anything to do with the destruction of Atlantis? With the destruction, um, I wouldn't say that per se. Um, I mean, there were some rogue Pleiadians that dealt with Hitler that were uh, not of the highest uh, okay. benefic beneficial energies. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you those mentioned Pleiadians have been beneficial. Right. You mentioned DNA. Your scalar wave technology, does it mess with someone's DNA in any way, shape, or form, or is, there, or is that DNA left intact? as it allows the body to sort of manifest in, in, in its right perspective, in the right atmosphere, so that the cells can react accordingly and they immediately know what to do so that the body could start to repair itself. It's designed to activate the infinite innate intelligence that's within the DNA, that's within our bodies itself. And the power that made the body, the power that created the body heals the body. And so it creates an an optimal energetic environment um, where you know that light is activating we're colliding photons and creating a photonic fusion event Cold so the dna is not messed with no it's about maintain the integrity of the dna and actually the original research when nasa showed up in the late 90s after we set up our first full system uh, when NASA showed up, the research that was done by the top geneticists at Baylor University, NASA was studying the effects of our, our technology. Uh, we put it down in Houston, and uh, they were studying the effects on the DNA. And they found it there was a repair of all the breaks in the DNA, all the genetic damage. There's a repair of that and a lengthening of telomeres. So that's true age reversal in itself. But it was validation that that's what we had set out to accomplish uh, was because radiation unzips the DNA. It breaks those bonds, the hydrogen bonds in the DNA. Now, these are unified fields. We put that back together. And with that fusion event, 
you know, okay, so you got unified fields, putting everything back together. And with that fusion, it creates something called hydrobifurcation, which is a release of the active hydrogen and active oxygen. So on one side, you have the ultimate oxygen therapy for the cells, but on the other side, you've got the active hydrogen, which is your ultimate antioxidant. But it's also that active hydrogen, that's your pH, your hydrogen potential or the power of hydrogen. You know, it, it, you know, cancer can't exist in an alkaline pH. That has to do with, you know, where bodies, and I go back to my electrical, electrical engineering side here, but, um, but you know, it's, every cell is meant to function like a battery. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, so you've got that alkaline battery kind of thing going. Yeah. And, um, and that's your life force. That's how the life force is able, the light force is able to manifest more fully. But that active hydrogen is also what can repair the covalent hydrogen bonds in the DNA itself. So it's putting the DNA, it's designed to put the DNA or keep the DNA in its original divine design, it's in its original integrity, and activate the latent capabilities that we have as, you know, I mean, that you could talk about it's a transmutation of the species from mankind to humankind. Hugh's another name for God. We are the God you know, divine sons and daughters of God. We are the God beings. And it's time for us to step up into our rightful knowledge and our rightful yeah. inheritance. And this planet's meant to be like a Garden of Eden planet. So there are other planets that people can go to if they're not ready to make the shift here because it's shift to get off the planet on this one. Mm -hmm. This planet's going into light. Yeah. And the question is how many of our people are going with her, but it's a, it's a, a shift that's going on and it's evolution. So I, I like to talk about, um, it's, you know, accelerated evolution. <laughs> How do we create the quantum leaps of consciousness for people? Because it's time to wake up. Yeah. You know, it's just time to wake up and remember who we are and all that we have access to. And as soon as we stand up, the gig's up. Yeah. Oh, it's, you know, it's going to be up anyway, because you got guys like me and you, that are going to beat that drum until we have to buy a new drum because we beat that first drum to death. And uh, the reality is you just said something in regards to, you know, um, that we are enlightened beings. We are literally programmable to go beyond 12 density. And the, the, the cabal knows that and they are terrified. We are genetic royalty. That you know is I mean? truth. That is absolute truth and it is that truth that sets us free yeah we are Absolutely. free sovereign sons and daughters of god yeah now um you were talking recently with uh shirka jason who i have the, the utmost respect for by the way um regarding kids being exposed to this technology and immediately uh, after several hours or several weeks of being around this technology, getting incredible grades and their pineal glands are clean and, and that kind of stuff. Can you touch on that a little bit more, if you don't mind? Oh, we've talked more a lot about it as far as, um, you know, when the body has the charge, it wants to discharge everything that doesn't belong. Well, some of that could be calcifications over the pineal gland, mm. <laughs> which has been done to try to keep the control. Fluoride, for one thing, is yep. the number one mind control drug. Uh, it shuts down the frontal lobes. And, it's you know, they've been doing anything and everything to try to suppress <laughs> this great awakening that can't be stopped. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, decalcification sends the calcium back to the bones where it belongs, and but that decalcification of the pineal gland. But it's, but when the body has the charge, it begins discharging all the heavy metals, it, the aluminum, the you know the mercuries, all these things. So that's why we see such wonderful responses with kids, uh, with you know, with learning difficulties and challenges and things like that. And we have peer reviewed published studies. I know we, this has not been the medical talk today <laughs> and I'm probably going to get in trouble for this. No, you <laughs> won't. Somebody. No, you won't. <laughs> with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm way off topic. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep, the, we'll keep the conversation under the radar for YouTube purposes. This way we could post this on YouTube because that's, Unfortunately, no, that's still where all we the eyeballs are at. 
we would yeah. definitely went into the woo woo science side versus yeah. I'm usually <laughs> all the quantifiable science. <laughs> but for yeah. kids, it's been absolutely incredible, mm -hmm. you know, where they've really gone into um, being able to really develop higher abilities. Mm -hmm. um, what you know, whatever those might be, um, you know, um, but um, those that have played yeah, you know, it's injury recovery and stuff. We've seen great injury recovery where they've gone back into the game and won after supposedly being out for the rest of the season. Or they've become uh, one of our our super, our EE system super kids became uh, top in junior Olympics in the country in judo. Or, you know, another one became the top um, pick in nationwide for basketball uh, that we've had others that with learning challenges where you know a little boy six years old couldn't speak i mean it was nonverbal, had every therapy in the world literally every therapy and treatment in the world his mother is the queen of rocks she's the largest crystal dealer on the planet and had had every treatment at six years old he was still totally nonverbal came to our technology and did what I call the scalar slumber party, but he put his forehead, it was very interesting. He came in and like in respect, like a little monk, he went, put his forehead to each of the screens of the technology that went to the middle. And, you know, so did this, what we call the scalar slumber party, which is great for kids absolutely the best thing you could ever do because it's the ideal optimal energetic environment where everything can heal and repair and regenerate and bring everything to its, the greatest life force light force energy because we're raising the millivoltage in the cells and and breaking up those calcifications and all that and creating coherence you know so we, we need kids to be the superheroes but anyway this little child six years old uh, they went home and he slept through the night for the first time ever. Now, how important is that as a parent? <laughs> I have four kids, four grandkids. How important is that as a parent? They slept through the whole night. Oh, my God. <laughs> so that Absolutely. was the first thing. Then they noticed, you know, they, they get so frustrated when, when they're nonverbal and a lot of frustration, anger issues. And they, he was happy. He was just plain happy for the first time. And uh, another thing they noticed, he was able to focus. He hadn't been able to do that before. He was focusing and mouthing words. One week later, they put him on the phone with me, literally put him on the phone, and he sang his entire ABCs to me. How special is that? I mean, that's we love that. But so it's designed to bring, you know, yeah back to life the power yeah. that made the body heals by this is like plugging the body back into the cosmic light socket let's turn the lights on yeah. at a cellular level and at a dna level and that's our light force energy uh, when you got interviewed by jason shirka you guys are going like mach 10 except there's some challenges in the world called you know supply chains broken this broken that broken <laughs> under this resident uh biden not president uh, resident. Yeah, resident Biden. Hopefully things here in the next couple of months, we can make a great announcement and things are going to be moving in the right direction because I got hundreds and hundreds of customers that I would love to bring to you. Um, not to mention the fact that my biggest motivation is my mom, who's like a car <laughs> at the junkyard. She's got a lot of things wrong with her. It's like, you know, tr try to get a car at the junkyard and restore a car at the junkyard. <laughs> you got to do what's called an overhaul. You got to go down to bare metal and start over. That's my mom. Uh, so uh, she's she's gone. She's actually going. She's probably in your technology right now. She's got another four hours to go on Monday. And oh, uh, awesome. hopefully, yeah, she's doing two hours today and then four more hours on Monday. Hopefully that's going to do something. But I think she may need a lot more than that, to be quite honest with you. Uh, but, <laughs> well, it uh, takes time for the body to do all kinds of, you know, you, you see improvements right away and, and crazy miracles. I, you know, I know after hearing about your mother, I, I, I thought about the, um, the Cherokee, it was a Cherokee chief that brought his mother and she had in, in her late 70s had mm -hmm. eight vertebrae and spinal stenosis was told she wouldn't make it through the surgery mm -hmm. uh, 
And so he brought her to Vegas and she came in to a 16 unit system just two hours a day, every day for a week and went back. Well, she didn't need to walk her after the first time in. This reverses inflammation and things so, so well because of the active hydrogen, that anti-inflammatory effect and, and, and the oxygen and just so many mm. me cellular mechanisms of action. It, you know, you can look at the thermography and see the, re the reduction of inflammation. And of course, inflammation is key to any and all disease, aging and chronic pain is inflammation. Mm -hmm. So that, that hydrogen that antioxidant effect is gonna put out that fire, so to speak, reduce the inflammation. So she didn't need her walker after the first time in. She was feeling much better. Brought her two hours a day for a week, went back and they, they did this final analysis and found that seven out of eight vertebrae were perfect. So I said, seven out of eight, that ain't bad. You know, come back, let's get the last one. You Absolutely. Know? <laughs> Instead, they went ahead and did a surgery that went exceptionally well and she's doing awesome. So, uh, so yeah. that's just one, one miracle with somebody because that's, again, that's real breakdown of the body. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's what we've been kind of known for. Maybe you saw the picture of the general after three strokes is reconnaissance, marine reconnaissance, the general. Did you see that in the video? No, I didn't get to that part, unfortunately. I've been, uh, we yeah. showed it in the first interview with Jason. Okay. Well, if it's, it's there, also, I'm sure I've seen it. Yeah, and I think it's also in some of our other stuff. But yeah. uh, three strokes, total paralysis. Oh, yeah, I remember that story. Yeah. Total paralysis, both sides. Third degree burns over his whole body. 77 years old. The VA had sent him to hospice. I said, just get him here. Get him to me. And they brought him four hours a day. And then after 10 days, you see him standing and the lesions are all gone. And he, he did, you know, not all the paralysis was gone, but his brain was on fire. He's brilliant back to his full and, and able to fully care for himself versus they, everybody thought he was dead when they carried him in and literally carried him in. Um, and yeah, he looked like he was dead. <laughs> so my, my mom would be, ideal situation for her would be, you know, uh, if she could have the 40 machines at this gentleman who's a retired surgeon, my mom is not anywhere near that, that level of wealth where she could <laughs> afford to do that. But if she could afford to do that and be around that environment for three, four weeks, I told her, I swear to you, I believe in this technology. I know I've sent people to your facility in Ohio, to your facilities in New York, New Jersey, California, everywhere. And they all report back to me. Uh, it's like I've become like this newscaster of sort, you know, pizza guy gone newscaster, crazy stuff. Anyway, I want to well, talk about the telling. What's, what's that? some of that news? I want to hear yeah. some of the stories. That's what no. I that's what My pizza, pizza stories? Yeah, no, the news that you're getting from the people. Oh, oh the people are. Oh, I'll, I'll give you one. Um, uh, James Anthony goes with his entire family. Uh, they drive. He's in New Mexico. I don't know where they drove to. I think they probably came to your place in Las Vegas. Possible, right? Four hours one way, five hours back. The daughter is complaining all the way up. She said, this technology is not going to work. This is a joke. What are you talking about? Frequency, right? They get there. The, uh, every single one of us, there's four family members went in for a two-hour session. Every single one of them had chronic, you know, elements that were years and years and years. Pain. OK, and uh, one had the spinal, one had uh, knee stuff. The other one had hip stuff. They all had stuff. They came out. As if it never even existed. I got this on video that I was told not to release yet. Yeah. Yeah. I have it saved. Not yet. not yet. It's that powerful. And we're uh -huh. saving it for the right time. We'll shoot that ammunition when the time comes. Uh, I mean, they probably went to the, there's a 24 unit center here in Vegas called Las Vegas uh, Holistic Center. And that Las might Vegas. be the one they went to. But Maybe anyway, they went there. Yeah. And, and then uh, another gentleman who has got money in hand, he's got, you know, $150,000 that's burning a hole in his pocket. He said, I want the machines. I want them now. Uh, but he said, I said, do me a favor. What's the closest place to you? Ohio. OK, he drove to Ohio. I happened to call him to give him the bad news that we're not taking any new, new orders right now. And he's driving back from the center, basically saying 
oh my God, it's unbelievable. I feel like I'm brand new. Okay. And you know, story after story, you, you know, these are people who are not paid actors. These are people, <laughs> regular, ordinary people that are experiencing stuff. My question to you is this I would love to interview the gentleman. In that, for that example, was, by the way, that was just an eight unit system in, in Ohio. Although, right, I believe so. They want to put it to a 24 now, but right. everybody's in a queue in line. Yeah, we are taking orders. People are signing up to be in the queue and taking deposits. And so we're fulfilling orders. We're ramping up all of our production. Right. And it's and it's ex ramping up extraordinarily well. <laughs> good. We'll talk about that off camera, you and I, because I definitely need to know what's going on. Uh, well, like because... the medallions, like you're wearing, these, these yeah. little buggers really yeah. work. And at least you've got one down there to Costa Rica. But well, we got, got our medallions. I got 95,000 people that love me. So I got a lot of people that, that want to come down and bring stuff for me, you know? It's that I yeah, brought you presents. Yeah, yeah these are the high tech and the low tech model. These are going out all over the world. We we've exhausted so many, much of the supply. We made huge, huge uh, orders, but these are all natural stones in that mm -hmm. turtle shape. But it mm -hmm. becomes high tech and the low tech the way the technology embeds in this, and it helps maintain the integrity of the DNA and the integrity of the red blood cells. And and we have crazy miracles with these because it does like a five foot cocoon of energy and transmutation yeah. into beneficial or like electrical precursors to the body i and sleep you, with mine on yeah and, and you know yeah. you sleep better right yes yes yeah. we get all kinds of reports back i had one person said so somebody gifted me a medallion and a bracelet and now i don't need my reading glasses anymore or another one said 20 years of acid reflux is gone after wearing my medallion yeah so these are great it's a you know, small, portable, affordable piece. But um, we had put in orders like more than two months ago. And we got a partial order in yesterday with some yeah. medallions. And yeah. now I just heard it's the planes were delayed, this, that, customs, this, that. So we're finally getting that order in Monday. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're going to get we're going to get Trump back and everything's going to get fixed. Not to get off track. Let's get back. Yes. On track. Let's talk yeah. about telomeres. Because when I heard the story about the surgeon who put 40 of these units around his house, he said, brilliant. You know, obviously, he's more of a different class of guy. He's got the money to be able to wear with all to be able to do that. Not everybody's in that, in that situation. However, he went from walking on a walker. His bones were deteriorating. He had osteoporosis. He had, uh, and then all of a sudden, he's off the walker. He's back to playing tennis. His hair is turning back to dark. Uh, yeah, because I he, don't have a single gray hair now. He's Why playing he tennis. He's less than a 24 unit because it's, the difference is right. so astounding. He had a 24 unit and two eights. So 40 units in his huge estate, eight around the bed, eight in his office, and 24 that he would sleep in on a surgical mat. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> he goes, yeah. Why would anybody do less than 24? Because the difference is just. So astounding. The 24 is the geometry of the DNA. And that's where a lot of the real magic is. Yeah. But the technology works. All of our clinicals, I recommend people go to the research page and read the clinicals. And those were almost all done with either a four unit or an eight unit system. Right. Now, the telomeres obviously are getting longer because the only way the hair goes from white to silver to black is because the telomeres are going the opposite way, which means you're prolonging. So when your telomeres are basically your, your biological clock, when those telomeres are gone, you're gone. You're, right. you're no longer here. That's so if those exactly telomeres right. are going the opposite way, I'm, I just told her when I, she called me on the phone about an hour before we did, we're doing this podcast and we had a little conversation. I said, tell me if the telomeres are going the other way, we're prolonging life, which means I don't know for sure because we don't have a time capsule where we can travel into the future three, four hundred years. But I, I said, I'd be willing to bet that your technology is probably going to be the technology that's going to allow people to live three, four hundred years going into the future. Because I think even your technology, even though as great as it is, there's probably room for improvement, correct? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah we, we have plans, but it's, it's, you know, doing miracles. We see miracles, hear miracles 24 seven. Absolutely. So great. So All would I be able to, and it's, and it's yeah. like Tesla's work, it goes through the earth, mm -hmm. you know, so it's a field technology. So a system that goes in expands the fields exponentially. 
that's why it had to go out initially into private homes, you know, so that it was laying the foundation all over the world, the foundation, so that when, because when it went, goes out now, it has to be everywhere fast. So it can't be sure. Small. Sure. But initially, it was putting in private homes mm -hmm. all over the world. And so nine, more than 90% of the systems were in private homes around the bed. Mm -hmm. And people can just imagine what it does for, for sleeping. Let's talk about <laughs> your technology uh, being in an area of, say, you got 24 machines, which is the perfect amount of machines to have. Now, let's say we have a huge location with maybe eight to 10,000 square feet of space, and we could fit a hundred people, does Great. it work less or more or the same because you have a hundred people, as long as you're within that fire code and you're not breaking any fire codes, a uh, hundred <laughs> right? people sleeping overnight, whatever, uh, doing like you say, a slumber party, bring your own sleeping bag, sleep on the floor in this yeah. technology, you put on some nice little, you know, uh, the right kind of Hertz music uh, right. and, uh, and and voila, is that is that doable? Or silence. <laughs> silence could be golden <laughs> on those slumber parties too. Um, and actually in our initial clinicals, a very interesting thing happened. We talk about the DNA and stuff, but in the clinicals, we used no music because he didn't want any other variable besides, you know, just, just the units. And I only allowed the initial clinicals were 2001 with a John Hopkins trained oncologist in a cancer clinic, four units. Uh, because I was afraid to let doctors know what it was doing, for one thing. But anyway, um, but he, one of the things that was interesting was people came out going, where can I get that music that you were playing in there? Uh, they'd hear the music of the spheres, or they'd hear chanting, or they were sure that somebody was doing like a drum circle, or a Native American ceremony, or the angels were singing, or, and they were all asking for the CDs, or the, they were sure that there was a shaman that came in, there was something going on, and this is this, the music, you know, literally coming up from the DNA, <laughs> the memories in the DNA. So it was very, one very, very interesting thing. Another thing is that people experience a time warp. <laughs> you know, so he said, you know, eventually he said, uh, the less you tell people, the better, just put them in the room and don't let them out for two hours. He said, the less you tell them, just put them in the room, close the door, don't let them out for two hours. He said, it takes the first hour for them to work through their monkey brain so to speak, you know, uh, and the self-talk, the negative talk and whatever it is. And you want enough time to get to the deeper delta and theta brain states to internalize the energy because that's where all healing and repair is really done. So you want to get to the deeper states where it you know, gives the body more time to use the energy. And he said, when they come out, they don't have any questions. <laughs> So they, if you have a hundred people in the room, hour, they just have a real experience. Yeah. So yeah, right. Yeah. And we've done large um, ballrooms. We've done 5,000 square foot warehouses. It's meant to go into stadiums eventually. Right now there is an auditorium in Utah that's going to be able to accommodate a hundred people at once. That's, I think it's opening up um, Monday or something. So that one's just about ready. The more the merrier. Everybody's sure. getting everybody. It's not, getting it's not going. It's not like if there's more people in the room, they're not stealing my scalar wave that can benefit me. Uh, no. Because we are antennas at the end of the day, aren't we? Yeah, the, yeah. And the DNA is like an antenna. It's and it's wireless transmission. And with having more people, there's more. Uh, it, it's like amplified. If anything, it's more is better. So it's <laughs> actually better. better. Yes, actually, it, it's better. Although it's it's unique to be in a room by yourself with it and just have your own experience. That's why a lot of people put it around their beds. But uh, but now we've got a lot. You know, we've got so much to turn around fast on the planet. So we need these bigger centers in. Well, this conversation definitely took a turn. I don't know if it's for the better or the worse, but because I had a whole bunch of stuff written down over here and we haven't used practically any of it because I haven't been jotting down some notes as we're talking and it just <laughs> took a whole different turn. And that's usually when it comes out the best, but uh, you did uh, advocate taking salt baths and eating the proper diet 
mostly vegan, mostly organic, et cetera. Um, what, would, wouldn't it be beneficial for somebody who's at the beach? Obviously, I understand the machines well enough to know that uh, if they're in a salt environment, they're not going to last 30 years like the ones that are not in a salt environment who are maybe, you know, right. 19, 19,000, 1900 feet of elevation uh, in the mountains with fresh air like Costa Rica. Uh, but if you have like air filtration systems and you have solar mm -hmm. power and you have, uh, you know, plenty of air conditioning, but you're at the beach and instead of doing the salt baths, I want to jump in the ocean for two or three hours before I do my session. Would that be beneficial? That'd be, that'd be great before you do your session. Absolutely. Yes. That's fantastic. Love the ocean. For me, life's a beach. I love and, me and you and are I definitely need my vitamin C, S E A. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I'm really yeah, a mermaid, I... in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> it's great for hair. <laughs> well, you're, you just graduated to be my sister from another mother. You understand that. Okay. Yeah, so um, ocean's important. However, that is not going to do the detox. Mm -hmm. uh, you need a hot salt bath to open up the capillaries, open up the pores. Uh, the, when I say a salt bath, and, and you need a stronger salt solution than what's in the ocean. So correct. I recommend in a tub a minimum of a pound of salt. That's two cups of salt. Okay. Okay, sea salt, salt, not Epsom sea salt. salt. Not Epsom salts, exactly. Sea salt or real salt from Utah or, you know, Himalayan salt. I mean, Celtic salt, uh, Dead Sea salt. That we use a mixture when we do our EE salt. It's a mixture mm. of all these different salts because they all have different energies and frequencies. Mm. And Hawaiian salt and the red salt and all these different salts. Are, you know, salt is so important. And we, mm -hmm. that is part of our, uh, you know, we're the salt of the earth. And salt is really important for the electrical functioning in our body. So it also works with the charge through our body. Uh, the the salt-free diet thing, you know, just drove up all kinds of diabetes rates and things because the body requires good salt. Now, I'm not talking Morton's. <laughs> yeah, not... no, 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 no. Yeah, I got Body rock sea fire. salt. Uh, we found boxes of rock sea salt right before the C-19, you know, uh -huh. pandemic, right? Uh, and I, I said to my wife, where did you get this? Because the sea salt in Costa Rica, ironically, they put fluoride. They don't put, they used to never put fluoride in the water. Now they put in the fluoride in the water and the salt. And oh. so- uh, she bought, got these boxes and they were from Palermo, Sicily. I said, okay. where did you get these? She said that uh, Roseville. I said, do me a favor, go back and empty the shelf, bring them all home. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm running out of it now, but I've had like four years of this all. And it was wonderful. I'm, I'm down to my last like quarter pound, which I got to go find some more. Um, <laughs> awesome. yeah. yeah, yeah, it's awesome yeah. stuff. So the sea salt bath is really crucially important because it works with the charge in the body. You've got the world's easiest detox. The body has the energy. And now with that charge, it's trying to discharge. It's trying to push toxins out of every nook and cranny it can get it out of. Well, the skin mm -hmm. is the largest organ of elimination. It's the third kidneys. You want to take all the stress right. off the kidneys. You know, the kidneys are important. We want to take the stress off of them. The skin is the largest organ. So the salt will act like a magnet and pull the toxins as, and, you know, um, and you want to breathe. It takes breath for energy to move. That's your respiration. <sighs> let everything yes. dissolve into the water and let it go down the drain. But you need that salt to pull it. Um, the bath for, for, you know, I've been working with the salt bath and then, you know, since my spa in the early seventies, individual salt bath, detox baths then. Uh, so the bath for radiation, which is what we're dealing with now, it's, you know, everybody, everybody is dealing with acute radiation poisoning. So two cups salt, two cups baking soda is the bath for radiation, two cups salt, two cups baking soda. So that's what I recommend. And then on top of that, what we're dealing with are the synthetic biologies, um, nanobots, um, spike proteins, uh, which 26 patents on a spike protein, according to Dr. David Martin's work. Uh, that's not natural to the body. That's a synthetic biology, these spike proteins. And then they're injecting them and people are sharing them and there's all that stuff. So <laughs> very, very important. 
uh, what yeah. I'm recommending with that. And this, this is another thing that works with decalcification and pooling of the fluoride out of the body is put a cup of borax, 20 mule team borax. That's your boron deposit, but it, 20 mule team borax that you get in the laundry aisle. So this is inexpensive stuff, but this is what people need to know as far as really, really important for helping to detox a lot of the stuff that we're dealing with efficiently. And so two cups salt, two cups baking soda, a cup of borax, uh, hot, you want, you know, not scalding, but hot enough to open up the pores, the capillaries, so the salt can pool and, and you know, and I'll give an example. I'm allowed to share this mm -hmm. <laughs> because you know my my dear friend, the Patriot Street Fighter. Oh, you know, Scott yeah. McKay. Scott McKay, absolutely. Yeah, he was here, got him totally out of pain, which is a miracle for as much metal as he has in his body. But the first bath, I have a large bathtub, so he's able to get in there and do it. Um, and it was like sand in the bottom of the whole bottom of the tub was like filled with like sand from crystallized. Um, stuff being pulled out of the body. Other people, I had a master metal worker, Native American, um, that had um, the contracts for um, for doing um, uh, you know bridges and things like that. Master metal worker, billion dollar company, doing all the government contracts work. Anyway, uh, the first thing you notice is the pain, his acute chronic pain, was relieved after his first session at, you know, from an it, and from an accident that he'd been in uh, and he woke up every day with chronic pain in his hip and his legs. Okay, so that clear, but, but he said the first six baths he did turned the color of steel. And he said it felt like steel shavings in the bottom of the tub. And so he got his uh, magnet and sure enough, it picked up all the metal. So that's a that's a real really good metal detox. <laughs> wow! He's going to try to push out all the metals. I talked about detox in the aluminum and the mercury. You know, those things that have created some of the learning challenges in kids. But all these heavy metals, well, all the radiolytic isotopes, your plutonium and cesium and things like that, are also heavy metals. So you want to pull that out in the tub. The <laughs> recipe so that's the you world's just easiest detox. Yeah, the recipe you just described was advocated by another doctor not too long ago because of all the, the poisoning with that thing that goes in, right? Yeah, Where we right. can't mention that word because somebody feels that they own the language, not for long. You'll be owning the language that's down in Guantanamo, down in Castro territory. <laughs> uh, uh, baking soda. Let's go back to baking soda. I am a big advocate of baking soda. Right. I take an average of about eight to 10 pills every three, four days just to keep alkaline because you know, when your body goes acidic, you could smell it in your pee, right? It, it starts to smell different. It's got this pungent smell. Then, you know, you're going acidic. You better start taking seven, eight, 10, you know, but depending on your body size of uh, the uh, baking soda tablets, which I, I buy on Amazon and you can buy from really yes. critical and important. And who wrote a lot about that is my good friend, Dr. Robert uh, Young. Mm -hmm. Dr. Robert Young, uh, you know, who's the master of the, um, you know, the live blood cell analysis, but he also did analysis of all four of those special formulas that they were putting into people and found uh, graphene, the graphene oxides and parasites and all four of them. But, uh, but his book, um, I mean, there's another, I mean, his book, The pH Miracle, and this is where we talk about the importance of hydrogen in alkalinizing the body. Uh, so, but he, he talks about that a lot in the pH miracle. He's one of his books is the pH miracle for cancer, you know, that kind of thing. So very, very important work. I'd highly recommend that people take a look at his work. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Dr. Robert Young, uh, dot com, I believe, and, and read some of his research. I presented some of his research, the microscopy and the analysis uh, at one of the conferences uh, yeah. for him that he couldn't attend. So very, very important work. We're also both commissioners on the International Tribunal for Natural Justice. But after he released that information on the analysis of all four of those formulas, 
and they came after him and essentially he's been under attack so yeah hopefully we hopefully we have all these people going on a little vacation down to that island yes that special <laughs> island absolutely now you it's had the, mentioned uh, something about the med beds and you said the med beds i tend to agree with you you know there's a lot of people that are into the rv and the xrp which is we're big advocates of and there's right. my mom calling and i will i don't know why that's ringing but it is and i just hung up on my mom it's but anyway mom. Yeah, uh, we'll get to her later. Uh, but you had said something that absolutely resonated with me. I don't believe things happen fast. It, uh, not on this earth, not with the people that we still have, some of the people in charge that are bad actors or are not going to allow these things to exist because they don't want to see the betterment of humanity. Obviously, these people are going to be off planet at some point. But you had said something to the you know fact that med beds will get here but they're not going to get here pretty much as fast as we all want them right and we all want them yesterday but i believe your technology still will have a place as a maintenance application after the med beds Even do when those show up how you know they're not in production mm -hmm. uh they're one person at a time um okay great but how do we heal the world <laughs> that's all yeah. you need you're gonna you're gonna need millions and millions of med beds literally yeah, and this is, you can put as many people as you want. And we've been seeing anything and everything they've talked about with the med beds we've been seeing, except for limb replacement. But we do have right. we do have some advancements for doing that, okay? We mm -hmm. do have that in the, in the pipeline. But uh, that's the only thing, everything else we've seen, everything else we've seen. And, and it's not just one person at a time. It's not practitioner or operator or doctor dependent you know which these other things are mm. you know so it's, it's like how do we bring healing to the world mm. it's also doing a 2.2 mile radius of a null zone effect that nullification of detrimental fields the hyper healthy energies in the system with the biophotonics because the dna is biophotonic but it's also doing like earth acupuncture <laughs> and feeding the grids within the planet and around the planet. Like I said, this was developed, how do we bring healing to the world? We've got a whole bunch to turn around here. And how do you override the, these other technologies with the higher power, the power of love? So you know, how do you flip you know, the detrimental effects of, of all the, the abuse of the scalar, the scalar yeah. uh, technologies? Absolutely. You know, I, I'm, I'm having uh, an incredible time uh, having a, a conversation with you. I, I think this is great. Um, I wanted to know uh, when you were on these ships with uh, people not necessarily from around here, uh, did they give you any other kind of technology that you're not exactly telling us everything you got in your arsenal, <laughs> so to speak? Mostly it's that further applications of what we've created. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's a lot further applications for the cleanup of, well, and some of it we have in motion already, and that's for the um, for the cleanup of Fukushima and the oceans, the advanced radiation remediation, water remediation, soil remediation. Um, there's so many applications. There's so much to, to fix on this planet, and it's meant to be a paradise planet. It really yeah. is. It really is. You know, so you've been sandbagging on us a little bit, doctor. Sandbagging? You, you've been sandbagging some of the technology you haven't told us about. Because I know I, no one's ever asked you that question, I don't believe. Uh, well, and I talk about the future, further things that we can do and we have in, in progress. But, okay. Uh, but in the meantime, we are here right now. And, okay. And, you know, the medallions and bracelets are phenomenal, but we also charge product. Um, this is not our company, mm -hmm. Clarity. Clarity, the eight stands for the infinity. It stands for, you know, the eight is the infinity, right? Sure. But sure. stands for the scalar vortex. This is a company that we hypercharge product for. I don't know if anybody can see that, but we'll mm -hmm. Trinity is the name of this particular product from them. Um, phenomenal nutrigenomic products that carry the charge into the body exceptionally well. Mm -hmm. So there's a number of products that we work with. So that's a company that we work with to charge their product. Uh, and, and so that, that's, ex that's really, really powerful.
to go from within as well as without, uh, from right. outside in, from inside out. And that'd be something I would recommend for your mother. Uh, their main product is something called Calibrate. And we talk about recalibration chambers, Calibrate with an eight. And it's a nutrigenomic that the mm. main ingredient in it is sulforaphane from broccoli sprouts. And mm. then black seed, uh, you know, like black cumin seed, which what they say about black seed is that, you know, it cures everything but death. That's what the, that's what the saying is about black seed and black seed oil. Black and seed oil. I, I use black seed oil. Yeah, black seed oil is fantastic. So it yeah. has that in there. It has the sulforaphane from broccoli spouts, has shilajit, which, you know, which is great for your trace minerals and humic and fulvic acids and things like that and mm -hmm. anyway it's a, a chaga mushrooms it's a nutrigenomic that that you put in water and it tastes good mm -hmm. believe so, it or yeah, not yeah you put it in water shake it up and in your and the elderly everybody loves the taste it's a great product and it's hypercharged on yeah we put it in our shakes a lot of times here um like banana shakes whatever we, we have we have a we have an organic banana tree in the back can you believe that yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, i understand that we have yeah. that in hawaii <laughs> yeah. so let me let me uh jump the gun here a little bit because i i remember talking to uh jason i did an interview with him not too long ago and um we talked I didn't about get to hear that i didn't yeah. get to hear that one <laughs> i'll send i'll send you the link to that one uh, it was very interesting. Uh, he had mentioned the fact that uh, a facility had opened. I forget exactly where. And let's call it a, a strip mall for a lack of a better explanation. And I think two or three doors down, there was a gentleman that was getting ready to go have uh, knee replacement surgery. <laughs> and what happened was because the technology radiates much further than where it's just located, uh, this gentleman started to feel much better because he actually had these jugs of water, these five gallon jugs of water in the cooler, you know what we're talking about. And he, the water was being charged as well. So he was drinking the water. And because that's where his place of business was two doors down from this, you know, location that was radiating this scale of wave technology that you so gratefully invented, uh, you know, a week later, he starts feeling a lot, a lot less pain. Two weeks later, he's got no more pain. Three weeks later, he's calling his doctor, canceling the surgery. Okay, so how far does this take? How far does does this, you know, energy permeate? And yeah. if I'm that next was, door, let's say if I'm a just from a little cube actually in the back of a, a car shop. <laughs> what's that? That was just from one of our cubes. It's the baby system in oh. the back of a car shop. <laughs> really. Yeah, and it wow. has a commercial application because of reducing reducing the surface tension, and so it was being used for ceramic coatings for cars because it made it go on twice as easy, twice as smooth, twice as fast. These wow. ceramic coatings, and so it's in the back. But then he has the um, he has the veterans coming and sitting around it because their knee pains are gone and stuff like that. But but the yeah. guy with the uh, the guy with this is in Hawaii and the guy with the uh, gym two doors down, the veteran was scheduled for bilateral knee replacements, bone on bone, cartilage gone. And the guy now squats 475 pounds on those bad knees. <laughs> wow. So, you know, it's like, you know, you just opened up a can of worms for me because now I'm going to start getting calls from car washes. Hey Mel, I heard <laughs> Doctor Doctor Sandra says that the wax goes on easier, it comes off, and the car is shinier. I want one of those machines, you know. So uh, <laughs> yeah, it makes water wetter. It reduces the surface tension of water. That's part of how it works in the body too. It makes everything fluid. <laughs> so basically, it allows the cells to absorb the water much better because I drink a yeah. lot of water, you know. Yeah, but getting um, it translated into the cells is the key. Mm -hmm. So now you've got your medallion or, you know, or you can take a bracelet, for example, and put it on that water bottle or, or just mm -hmm. hold it to that and, and, you know, wait, I, I show people, I, it's a science experiment, everything I, as a kid, everything was a science experiment. So, but anyway, <laughs> if you hold it up with your medallion, you'll feel when it actually gets heavier because that's the effect on the hydrogen atoms. And you can taste it and it'll be much smoother. 
But it's really fun to do that. More fun to do that with wine. So can I can drop. Water can I drop heat. this in water too? Yeah, you don't have to drop it in the water. Just you have to just put it by, it by the water. Oh, hold the medallion or the bracelet to the bottle. You see what I'm doing? Just yeah, yeah. Hold it to the bottle, and you'll feel or the or the glass, and you'll feel when it gets heavier. It's it's really quite fascinating. It takes about you know thirty to forty five seconds or so. You'll feel the difference, and and <laughs> that's amazing. It's water wetter, um, yeah, but that's what what it does in the body, and that's part of how you get the microcirculation and and uh, the fluidity. So if your if cell. your cells are absorbing more of the moisture. They mm -hmm. won't get as sick as fast. Yeah, a lot of disease, a lot of disease is just from acute chronic mm -hmm. dehydration. And it generally takes about 10% of the body's energy just to get water into the cellular structures. You know, if you have a high surface tension of the water, mm -hmm. it's just not mm -hmm. going to absorb. Right. Uh, that kind of thing. So this, it's, <laughs> yeah, so what it does for water is great. And that explains a lot of how the technology actually works with the body. You know, and you've got that microcirculation. You can look at the before and after the blood. We did a lot of blood studies. You can actually pull it up on the, on the uh, research page. And you're looking at blood before and after one hour and stagnant, the sticky blood, you know, um, where it's all what you call rouleau, where it's stacked, it's stuck together. That's actually hypoxia, where the, the blood is not carrying enough oxygen for proper organ function or for proper brain function. You see it sticky blood, it all stuck, stuck together. And afterwards, in one hour, you see it's all fully oxygenated and fully free flowing. It's really rather powerful. <laughs> that yeah. So that eliminates a lot of the clotting issues and mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah. So you've been at this for quite some time. As I understand, you were an herbalist or, or, or uh, um, rather a um, uh, chiropractor, acupuncturist, et cetera. And you, you created this technology based on the downloads or being hang around, hang around on these uh, massive ships. Uh, <laughs> I talked to your son. Uh, we had a, about 35, 40 minute conversation when I introduced him to the gentleman that hopefully can help you, which I believe he can. Uh, and he basically said that there were a lot of people out there that ridiculed you, thought you were a complete quack job, et cetera. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about this just for shits and giggles and so that we can make it a little bit entertaining for the audience? <laughs> Well, I've been teaching over 45 years, so you name it, I have seen it, dealt with it, et cetera. Uh, and so it has been interesting. And, and I wasn't ever technically a chiropractor because I, I was trained in chiropractic, reflexology, nutrition, Ayurveda, I, and I did all the research did and did all the co uh, college courses, did all the different things. But... And, but then I was also trained by masters like uh, Dr. Virgil Crane, who sent back his chiropractic license. So every time I almost went to chiropractic school, I realized I didn't fit the model, you know, because it become too focused on pathologies. And I thought that was pathological. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, because this is all about, you know, the power that made the body heals the body. Dr. Virgil Crane sent back his chiropractic license and called it the religion of chiropractic and founded something called the alphabiotic alignment process. And mm -hmm. I was in the very first class he ever taught. His father had taught it in, chiropr in chiropractic school as a crane condyle adjustment. But I had been trained by chiropractors from multiple years back. And then I also worked with Dr. Um, you know, with uh, Donnie Epstein who also, I believe, ended up sending back his chiropractic license. He started Network Chiropractic, which, be, you know, which became Network's final analysis and stuff like that, because we don't really fit that model, per se. Mm -hmm. uh, but every healing modality, yes, I've worked with it, researched, studied. Um, and, but I was recognized as the top healer on the planet. Uh, it for many years and mm -hmm. and I, that's what i put into this technology but then with making that shift they're going no you, you why are you doing that you should just be just be doing what you do as a healer 
But there's right. always three people I could personally teach or touch or train. Even my own students thought I'd gone nuts that I was working on technology. What? <laughs> For healing? What? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't quite understand. <laughs> yeah. Now, Jason was approached by a, uh, an organization, the TLS, I believe it's called, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Standing and... for the light system, the light system, TLS. Yes. Right. And uh, you supposedly also received some kind of download being able to create what's called holographic med, med beds. Uh, are, you, are you aware um, of, of talking about that? Well, no, I was, I was told to create what I created. Yes, that was okay. a download dump. So this but is yeah. what you got right now. Yeah, and I was asked, I was recognized, asked, recognized as being part of TLS July 11th, 2011, as mm -hmm. part of the Holographic uh, Leadership Council for that. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's why, and, which was very secretive. Um, and that's why it was very interesting that it was, you know, TLS that, and TLS, you can, you know, hear more about it from Jason Shurka, obviously, but it's been a very secretive organization, kind of like a, a CIA of special forces for doing divine intervention to work with the evolution of the planet, essentially. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And you were wearing a shirt. This is, again, these last two questions I'm giving you are from my friend Darren and Gina in Oregon. Uh, you were wearing a shirt. Now, we got to be very careful with our language a little bit on this one uh, that said, save the children. We know what that is all about. Can you tell us a little bit about that, why you were wearing the shirt, et cetera, please? Yeah, because that's why we do what we do. Save the kids. And the kids are where it's at. Uh, and also because, I mean, that's my Patriot Street Fighter shirt. We mentioned Scott McKay. That's yes. My Patriot Street Fighter uh, <laughs> T-shirt. I'm a big fan. Tell him when next time you talk to him. I will tell him that. Yeah. And um, because I'll be talking to him. And I'm, by the way, I'm speaking tomorrow for the Truth Tour. Oh, okay. Uh, the grand finale of the, the Truth Tour here in Vegas. Tomorrow, it's all okay. day event that Scott was to be at. I don't know if he's making it. So I'll be representing him. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I'm not sure it saved the kids. Uh, relates also to a lot of the work that I've done because I was doing a lot of work as a healer with uh, ch with the children or with adults that had been trafficked experiences uh, and a yeah. lot of that. And can you uh, can yeah. you also verify the the tunnels they were saying? You know, obviously we got to be very careful with our language because so far we did good. So far this is YouTube friendly. And maybe except for the last couple parts right here that but uh you know we know what what happened in the tunnels and uh we know about yeah. the trafficking and all of that and that's uh, how jason originally showed up on my radar because i i heard i heard about the you know the rescues going in in the dumps the deep underground yes um, yes so these, uh, the, the tunnels and and you know and i work so much now with um, so many of the special forces guys that have that can't unsee what they've seen in those tunnels. It's the underpinning. It's the dark underbelly of everything we're dealing with, and that's what needs exposed and brought out and, yes. and addressed. And so we also work with that. With I'm a commissioner on the International Tribunal for Natural Justice. International Tribunal for Natural Justice. That's itnj.org. If people want to look that up. Uh, we did the emergency hearings, you know, we did like eight emergency hearings at the beginning of COVID. Right? Yeah. Actually, wh whatever we want to call that, the CBDC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You mentioned also in, in one of your interviews, I believe it was also with Sherka, where we are going to experience a thousand years of peace. So that leads me to believe that you know all about Jasara Nasara, the quantum financial system, XRP. Uh, the Zims, the Dinars, uh, the low-lying satellites, the nodes residing <laughs> in the satellites, the 17th letter in the alphabet, the movement, et cetera. I think you know all about that, correct? That's correct. Absolutely. Yeah. Are you an investor validate, in XRP? I can validate and verify all that. No, I'm yeah. not. Not, not. I'm not an investor in XRP. But, but Are you an <laughs> investor in the Zims or the, the Nars? Well, I, you know, I'm 
I'm ready for the shift. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're absolutely right. We're not going to need any of this stuff. Money's going to go away. I no, keep saying that. Money doesn't really mean anything from where I'm from. I do know that my whole life I was promised that this thing in this life would be this great transference of wealth. I was told about this great transference of wealth. And I had um, I had people from mystery schools in the Philippines come and find me and validate that, yes, and, and confirm that I'd be part of the release of the gold and the abundance from what's in those tunnels. And those, <laughs> you know, that's been kept for this time. Uh, and, you know, anyways, and yes, I work with, you know, these different uh, operations and you know I can talk about um, Admiral Robert Killian who's the professor of nuclear and quantum physics in Reno yeah and yeah, uh, yeah. and so yes we've had very we're deep discussions yeah yeah we might have to uh, put this whole video unedited on rumble and then just chop chop up a maybe uh, six or seven minutes of it so that we could make it YouTube friendly and then just leave the ending of this on YouTube and that will work just fine. I had an incredible time. I absolutely adore your work. I can't wait to uh, actually do another interview with you as things evolve and humanity is waking up. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a tough road ahead. Uh, we have still quite a few people to wake up. We understand. Yeah, but it's the time, you know, you just talk about the thousand years of peace. We read Revelation. I read that Bible six times cover to cover by the time I was 12, because I'm in the bloodline of Martin Luther. Oh, <laughs> he led <interesting>. Reformation. <laughs> it's in my blood, but, but I studied that Bible and Revelation and all that. So the thousand years of peace and the prophecies, we're at that time and uh, the great awakening cannot, will yeah. not be stopped and the abundance that is promised you know that we should inherit it, it's coming and it's all in place it's all ready and, and uh, yeah we know this yeah I, we could feel it we could see it we could smell it we could almost touch it but we can't prove it because people want to see it on cnn and it doesn't exist on cnn or fox and they're just gonna have to get used to that fact we are the new newscasters <laughs> we are the news now my dear friend scotty Sachs talks, yes. talks about how we are the news now absolutely in this time of revelation there's going to be a the great revealing and the exposure of all this stuff being exposed and coming out all the suppressed stuff you know it uh, no more secrets that the words fly free is actually a hawaiian chant <laughs> there's yes. no more secrets everything's going to come out it's all going to be exposed um bringing the dark to light yeah and dr sandra it was an absolute pleasure tell me you'll come back please <laughs> oh you got me so off topic on things i don't normally but talk you know about. what i wanted to go that way because i wanted to make a very different interview but if i would have stuck to this interview it would have been more like everybody else and i wanted to just so go in a different direction i'm the salmon that swims upstream I'm the guy that, you know, does 180 degrees, what everybody everybody else does. But I think a lot of our audience, they were so intrigued with you saying, you're making the hint that you were on these spaceships that I think they're going to be very pleased with this interview. I, yeah. I thank you so much. Mahalo. Or a carry member of that, those councils. <laughs> yes. Voting members yes. of I will, those councils. Uh, we'll say okay. goodbye to the audience. And just want to say aloha to everybody. We love miracles miracles and it's the time it's time we've waited a long time glad we're here whole new world absolutely and we'll, we'll make it happen because that's what it's going to take it's going to take people like her people like me people like you that have the gift of gab but you're deadly afraid don't be afraid just get it you get a microphone for 29 bucks at uh, amazon whatever you get yourself a you know a nice a decent computer get on the air and start speaking your mind i bet you by the time you get to 100 videos you're going to get pretty darn good at it. Then you can flush the old videos and just keep going. You know what I mean? It's that simple. Yeah. But we all got to be the drum. The more people that step up and speak truth, the more others will speak truth. And the truth vibrates and resonates in the cells. That's that cellular resonate, resonation. Yeah. And, and the more people that speak truth, that's what will set us all yeah. free. And if you hold back out of fear, we don't need any more fancy victims. We need to go. step up. <laughs> exactly.
and, exactly. and speak truth and really get out there. Yeah, we're not here to become rock stars, although it's happening by default anyway, not our intent, but we want as many people. We're, I'm not interested in having, you know, 29 million people following me all over the internet, et cetera. I'm interested in you becoming the rock star so that I can work myself out of a job because I, re, I did my job because I recruited 100,000 people that are now beating the drum, that have 100,000 channels. That's what I want to do. You know yeah. what I mean? And fear and God cannot share the same space. And fear was only thinking there was something bigger than God. Yes. Stay on, doctor. Thank you, guys. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one.